Okay, what's up guys? Uh, give me some thumbs up. I've been having a little difficulty, uh, technical difficulties. Let me know. Uh, try to give me thumbs up if you guys uh, are reading this. Let me know. Nothing? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, guys, you got it? Okay, how's the sound? Give me a thumbs up. You guys got the sound going? All right, looks like I'm hearing from you guys. Very, very good. All right, awesome. Guys, um, Thanks for coming and uh, checking out the first show. Really, guys, uh, this, this, all right, I got lots of thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Uh, awesome. Um, th this, this is really just my sort of entry into the live stream and stuff, folks. So I kind of need y'all's help just to make sure the sound is good, the audio, the video is good. Um, this is the first time I've done this kind of really live with you guys. So, all right, I see Guniac there. All right, lots of guys here. Appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let me know if you guys run into any static or anything. For the last, say, hour, hour and 15 minutes, I've been trying to sort out a microphone issue, and uh, I, I guess I finally got it working. All right, good, excellent. All right, guys. I see Scotty Scott in there. Lionel, lots of guys here. Hey, thanks for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get this up and rolling, folks, because I think I'm going to do another live stream maybe tomorrow. We're going to talk about the, the PT-17 here that Dynam put out that I've been flying around a little bit. It's pretty nice. And um, I've got a lot of other things going on. I got uh, FMS's glider. Uh, you can see that up here, the ASW-17, really nice construction. Um, and then, of course, we have the unboxing. Uh, I tried to show you guys what the box looked like. Um, uh, it, it's not a huge box. It's actually about this big. And uh, I got lots of stuff coming. We got the Corsair coming. We got the Rafal coming from FMS. Those are, we're going to be opening those up here pretty soon. Probably, probably a couple weeks till we do those because everything's slow boat from China right now. Uh, but the box that I got is this thing right here, folks. Um, it's, uh, it's something that uh, FMS sends me from time to time because I've done... I've done like a lot of work with FMS, a lot, a lot of uh, uh, R&D um, and, uh, and product improvement and stuff. And from time to time, they send me swag and stuff, which is kind of nice. They, uh, they, they, take, uh, they take pretty good, uh, pretty good care of me here. And uh, so I didn't mean to fool anybody. That's why I put this on my desk so you guys can, uh, can see, uh, see the size of it. And we'll get into it and see what it is. I kind of know what's in there, but I'm not 100%. Um, all right, Jeff, I see everything's looking good. Uh, everyone excited to be here. Hey, thanks, guys. Um, and uh, you guys uh, want to get into the uh, you guys want to get into the box? You guys ready to see what's in it? Let's see. Good looking. Okay, I see. I'm watching all your chats and stuff. Very good. Laugh out of the box. Looked like it went through. Yeah, I know. This is a. Uh, Somebody went postal on this thing, definitely. But um, if you guys are ready, let's uh, let's take a look. Let me get uh, let me get my PT17 over, and we'll put this uh, kind of just uh, kind of diagonally here. Try and get that to stay there, and we will get into this, folks. What do you think it is? Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess what's in there? Take a take a take a couple guesses. See what you got. Let's see, a micro Dassault. Yeah, somebody said, uh, I think Mike Balti said, he goes, uh, he goes, it's got to be the Corsair. And I'm like, well, it's a little Corsair if it's a, if it's a Corsair at all. So uh, let's see. Let's get into this, and we'll see what's in here. This is kind of typical FMS swag. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this over here for just a second. Got lots going on in this room here, folks. Uh, let's put that right down there. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we have. This is all uh, stuff coming from FMS. Let's see what this is. Looks like it's a uh, looks like it's a FMS water bottle. This is some stuff that they send me from time to time, and I use it at events and things. And uh, you know, these are things that you guys can actually get 
on the FMS website. So if you guys want uh, some cool swag, this is a nice, uh, let's see, I, I hadn't even really looked at this stuff. I, I just kind of knew that it was some, some stuff that they, uh, they kind of sell. And uh, really nice, little nice bottle, FMS stuff. Let's see what else we got here, folks. Anybody want to guess what this is? There we go. It's a towel, a microfiber towel. I wonder if it says FMS on it. It does. Look at that. Cool swag, folks. Sometimes FMS will even send this with airplanes and stuff. So it's, uh, it's kind of nice. This is just sort of a, I guess, a towel for, it's like, it looks like a chamois, but all, all FMS swag type stuff. Really neat. And then uh, let's see what else. FMS is really cool because they do send some nice things from time to time. I was in the hospital once. It was cool. They sent me uh, some stuff. And when all this stuff went down, uh, all this COVID stuff, they actually sent me uh, like a box of like 100 masks. So it was kind of nice. They kind of take care of, uh, of some of us that are doing some of this work for them and stuff. Uh, this is a travel inflatable pillow, FMS style. Look at that. Check that out. Here, I'll put that up to the camera. I guess you inflate it and she can sleep. It's neck pillow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Let's see, and then there's one here. Let's see what this is. Let's see what we got. Uh, I appreciate all you guys coming. Um, it's really helping me test the whole system here. Let me see how many people we got here. Uh, let's look and see here. Um, playbacks 175. Got 98 people. Hey guys, awesome. I really appreciate you guys coming. We got a lot to come, and I got to get into the rhythm of doing this thing and learning how to do this. Um, normally, I'm doing this kind of thing, you know, at air shows and events like Joe Nall, Seth, Nall in the fall, but we didn't have any of those. So I'm going to try and do more live stuff so I can talk with you guys more. Wow, this is nice. Check this out. This is a, wow, look at this. This is all stuff, again, folks, this is stuff you can get on the FMS website as well when, when they start shipping again and stuff. This is like a, um, this is a backpack. Let's see here, but it's like a computer bag, it looks like. So you can put some stuff in there. Let's see, computer laptop bag, it looks like. So, cool stuff. You slide your laptop in there. You've got a top section to it. Everything's made in China, guys. They make some nice, nice things over there. So, let's see what we got here. Yep, this is for laptop and everything. Pretty cool. So, check these out. Again, these are going to be at FMS at some point if they're not already there, but pretty cool laptop uh, backpack kind of deal, which is pretty neat. So, um, yeah, I like that. I'll be using that for sure. Even has USB power in it. That's kind of cool. So you can put a battery in there and you can charge your, uh, charge your phone out of a battery that you have in the bag. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, folks, we got a lot of stuff coming. I just wanted to use today really just to kind of check my audio, my video. Hopefully, uh, I'll get it up, up going more on time next time. Uh, and I see everybody's up there. Um, does anybody have uh, any questions they want to ask about anything that's coming? Um, we'll be having a lot of stuff uh, coming here pretty soon. And uh, I'm dying to show you guys the, uh, the new FMS Corsair. That's going to be quite an airplane. I think it was uh, two years ago after, um, um, after uh, the Tiger Cat came out, I, I told the factory, I said, man, you guys really need to redo the 1700 Warbirds and just kind of bring them, you know, current into the, into this, uh, into, uh, you know, current production standards with ball links, submerged hinges, all that kind of stuff. And, um, and they said, yeah, we'll probably do it. Now, finally, they're doing it. So the, it's going to really be a smoking hot airplane. It's going to be pretty cool. It's, um, it's got um, really nice aluminum struts, so the old struts are gone. It has all the submerged style hinges and ball links. The tail is now actually part of the fuselage, and then the tail, the, the rudder, you just bolt right on. So ball links all the way around. It's going to be really nice. Bigger prop, more pitch, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be, it's probably going to be like the Corsair to beat. You know, it's probably going to be the nicest thing out there, kind of like they did with the uh, with the Tiger Cat and, and so forth. So when is the, uh, let's say, I'll read I'll answer a couple questions for you guys. Uh, Let's see, uh, Gert Wen says, uh, when is the Dassault coming? Pretty soon. I don't have a firm um, launch date on it. If I was going to guess, 
Um, I'd say it might, at the soonest, we'll probably see it maybe middle of October, uh, maybe the end of October, because I know uh, the Corsair and the, um, uh, the CJ6 are going to be here pretty darn soon. Um, yeah, the, pay it forward. I see what you're saying there. 1,700-millimeter uh, Corsair is looking good. It's going to be sweet. Um, and also, guys, we, we started Instagram, so check that out. Um, we're posting stuff daily on there. So, uh, and we're putting up all those posts of the Corsair and the, and the CJ6 and all that stuff. Um, Rich, who are you, uh, who are you pilot for? Um, well, it's a major airline. I don't want to say it just because I think everybody knows who it is, um, just because they may not want to have, you know, their name involved in other, peop other people's, you know, webcast and stuff. But I do work for a major airline, and uh, it, is a, it is a great job. Um, you know, I started... Uh, you know, flying RC a long time ago when I was, I don't know, 10, 13 or something. And, you know, so it, it led to a, a good career. So it's a good, good pathway to follow, definitely. Um, but um, let's see. Did you get soft top for the RC scaler? No. Uh, I, I'm, I'm dying to get one. Um, I'm supposed to be getting one here soon to put on there. It's pretty neat. I got my scaler parked right back there. And uh, we'll probably do some more videos of that. And uh, the CJ6, Hamilton Tanger, um, uh, the CJ6 is awesome. The original one, I still have the videos of the green one, and I still have the airplane. It's flight ready. All my FMS planes and all my other airplanes are always flight ready. But the CJ6 was three cell, uh, three bladed prop, retractable gear, flat. It has center flap, and it was a really nice flying airplane, cool paint job. Well, now they've updated it. It's now going to be four cell. It's going to have a scale two-bladed prop, and it now has um, it has lights on it. So, at three cell, that plane was pretty darn powerful. I mean, it, it was pretty cool at three cell. So, with four cell, it's probably going to be a rocket. It's got the new paint job, so it's kind of nice and bright. I think it's one of the uh, I think it's one of the Chinese air show teams that flies that particular plane. But it's it's kind of neat because it's got they put lights on it. It's got a landing light in the wing. It's got wingtip lights and stuff. And then, like I said, two-bladed prop and four cells. It's going to be awesome. And apparently they upgraded the landing gear, so I don't know. That might mean that it's got suspension on it and so forth. So, but we will have that one for you probably here in a couple of weeks. So we're going to be showing that one off to you guys. That's going to be a fun airplane. That's going to be a good plane like for everybody to fly because it, it's just it's tricycle gear, kind of warbird, low-wing style. It's, uh, it's just a fun plane for everybody. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, it says, you lucky devil. Okay, uh, where is this skeptical bill? You lucky devil. All right, guys, here's the thing. For about the last eight years or so, um, you know, I began working with Motion RC, FMS, all these other groups, and, and um, you know, I, I've been test flying a lot of this stuff and doing R&D and finding problems with the airplane, hopefully prior to production, and then submitting those to the factory so they can fix them and make them, make them better. So, um, so, um, Maybe luck a little bit, but there's a lot of work involved. Guys, when you get a plane from the factories to do stuff on, um, we put a lot of effort into it. I think you guys have seen the free wing F-14 Tomcat videos we did, and, and we did the wing plates and everything for it. Um, um, that was a lot of work, like I put into that, just really just to help the Motion RC guys to, and to help you guys out. So when you guys want to fly it um, um, off of grass, now it's tough. I mean, you can do more or less carrier type landings uh, on the grass now with, with that F-14 and you know, you're not gonna have any problem with the gear. So, you know, my channel is really geared towards, you know, there's a promotional element, element to it. It's not really so much for, for sales, although yeah, it, it helps influence people's decision. But my channel is more or less about trying to make the airplanes better, trying to help you guys get them going. You know, I've, I, I've had some experience over the years and I'm I always trying in my channel, I always try to pass that on to you guys as much as I can. I don't know everything, but there's, you know, I've had a lot of experience over the last several decades working on this stuff, and I'm, I'm always trying to pass that on to you guys um, so it kind of helps you guys out. Let's see. Uh, Laurie says, um, I love the FMS ASW-17. This thing is sweet, folks. Probably, and we'll do another video on this. This is probably one of the nicest gliders I've seen. We've already flown it. We got video of it. I'm going to edit it and get it out next. This will be the next one out. This is sweet, folks. Very, very nice. No screws. You just snap this on. You put two horns on, two rods on there, and then your wing just screws right in. 
Really nice spring-loaded latch. They're really going crazy. Here, check this out. They're going crazy with the, uh, the spring-loaded latch deal. It's awesome. And then you got your two spars. I put my metal spars in there. We are going to do, in the video, folks, we filmed for you guys a whole kind of unbox assembly, which took five, six minutes. I didn't even have to edit the video. It was so easy to assemble. It has these beautiful spars in here that are all uh, aluminum and steel. Um, but we did a, an unbox at the field where I used the factory crate as a cradle for this, and I even have the top cradle. And I'm going to show you all that in the video. So we have an unbox, flight, setup, and like a reboxing of the airplane. Probably the first time we've done a rebox because I, I used the transport case as a, a, or, or the, the, the foam crate that this came in as a transport. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do that too in the, in the videos coming up. But this thing's awesome. The wings are just incredible. Um, these things have, uh, here, here's the wing. We'll talk more about this probably in another video. But these wings are super, super, super rigid. There's a, there's a solid leading edge. The whole leading edge is sheathed in plastic. So when you strike this, if you have to land in grass or weeds, you're not going to damage the wing of this thing. And you can see that thick spar kind of running through the middle. It's real tough. Uh, probably the most important comment I'll make about this, you guys will see the video. We'll put it out here real soon. Put some stripes on it. This didn't come on the airplane. And the bottom of this airplane is completely white, and it will disappear in the sky and fly away, and you'll lose it. You'll never see it again. So also on the top, I put these stripes on the top as well. So uh, if you guys get one of these, um, you know, mark it. Put something on the top of the wing. Some, put something on the underside. Also, I did this on the tail. You guys can see that. We'll be talking about this in the video. I'll put two blue stripes on there. It's just sticker trim from the hobby shop. And uh, you'll be able to see this thing. Because if the sky is kind of white or overcast, you can lose this plane really fast. And it glides forever. It's just a killer glider. So stay tuned for those videos. We'll have those out. So um, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see some, uh, some other uh, skeptical bill. Love your videos. Do you really uh, do work uh, hard just getting them done? And yeah, guys, also, um, uh, in addition to that, thank Steve. Because Steve is always coming out there and helping me film. So, you know, both of us are, uh, you know, burning our gas tanks and tolls to get out there. But um, Steve, you guys got to give it up for Steve because Steve does a killer job filming. And, yeah, we work our butts off. We try to do, uh, you know, the best job, best information we can give you guys. Um, um, let's see. The 14-year-old, uh, let's see. The four, what is it? The 14 is old for sure. Hope. You saw mine fly, Victor RC Jet. Was that uh, is that Jeff fourteen? Um, uh, let's see, Jeff's RC Jeff. You're you're slow as Christmas. Yeah, no, I know it's a lot of work, guys. When I make my videos, folks, for you guys, I I, I try my best not to just make a video and throw it out there real fast. I try to clean it up, polish it, make it maybe make it a little kind of clean it up, make it a little more entertaining, maybe a little cinematic if I can, you know. Um, uh, let's see, uh, watch it rough, what else we got? Who's the ugly guy on the FMS Tiger Cat box? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, they put that on there. Well, the thing about the Tiger Cat, which was kind of cool, is I, I bugged FMS for, I bugged FMS like crazy for probably four years, five years before they came out with the airplane, and before they decided to actually make it. They said it was too big, expensive, too big, too expensive. Nobody's going to want to buy it. And I said, we love big, expensive things in America. I said, if you build that, people will buy it if you do it right. And man, they did it right. So yeah, we, did, we had the first, in fact, yeah, we had the first airplane from the factory, which I still have downstairs. It was the first one out of the mold. We flew it for the first time uh, at Joe Knoll. And it was actually the first airplane um, that they got out of the mold, and actually the first airplane that they um, they popped out of the mold, sent it to me to fly at Joe Nall, and it hadn't flown before. So me and Steve, Steve drove it up from Orlando. We slapped it together. We worked pretty hard for about two days getting it trimmed and tuned, and we went out and flew it for the crowd. So, um, but yeah, it's awesome. So we took a lot of pictures in the beginning, so all that effort I put in, they put me on the box. So yeah, it was kind of neat to see that, you know. But, uh, but I worked pretty hard to twist FMS's arm to make that thing. And I am glad they did, because everybody knows, I'll always say the same thing, it's uh, pretty much, it is the, the finest foam warbird that you can get anywhere. Nobody's made one better, in my opinion. So um, I am going to, my air conditioning is blowing real hard. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, 
I'm going to try and turn that down up a little bit. Uh, Paul, thank you very much. Paul Jenek, Jenek, your reviews are simply the best. I appreciate it. We try to do that. We try to make them as best we can. Again, my stuff, my videos, me and Steve, we try to make it information-based as best we can, you know, so we can uh, kind of get you guys um, get you guys the info you need to get it going. Um, uh, you've flown the new Tiger Cat, and also you plan to replace the engines, the cells that you jettisoned. Yeah, that plane is actually mostly fine. It's just the lower tips of the prop hit that top wire of the fence, and the props, the props, the motors, the motors, and the cowlings. The motors actually came out of the mounts, and the motors and propellers just left the airplane. They were just gone. The airplane was without any motors in it. They just left the airplane cleanly, and I was able to drop the landing gear, turn around, and, and land it. So yeah, I'll just throw some new motors and props on there. And there's a little scraped up here, a couple scratches on it for the props coming off and stuff, but I'll just clean that up with some paint. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll get that going again. Don't worry about that. And I have a special Tiger Cat coming, which is right up there. And uh, when I get that one going, you guys will love to see that one. That's going to be uh, well, it's going to be boosted a little bit. Let's see. Uh, uh, Michael Lamberto, new in the hobby. Hey, feel free to contact me anytime if I can help out. You know, just let me know. We're here to help. Um, let's see. Like the field of dreams. If you build it, he will come. Ha ha. All right. Let's see. Guniak's in the house. Sorry, Guniak. I know you've been there a bunch. I saw you a bunch of times. Let's see. Jeff. I know Jeff's there. Awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, Josh Weaver. FMS is going old school. I tell you what, man. FMS is killing it with the Rafale. That thing is awesome. I'm glad they went back to the Corsair to revamp that. The CJ6 has always been awesome, so they're both going to be more powerful airplanes for sure. Um, I know the Corsair has a bigger propeller and it has more pitch, so they listened to everybody about power. So it, it's going to be pretty awesome, and I'm glad they're going back and rehashing that plane. The landing gear is all aluminum, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, let's see. CJ6 is going to be killer, too. I'm dying to fly that. If you guys want to check out that video on the channel of the green one, we just flew it in a little park, and we took off and landed on a dirt road. It was pretty awesome flying that thing. It was, uh, it was fun. Um, uh, are there more jets? Guniak saying, are there more jets coming from FMS? I'm pretty sure there are. I, I, you know, they hadn't told me specifically. Sometimes they don't tell us all everything that's going on. Um, and then uh, over here, let's see. Uh, Gert Wen says, how's Dynam quality compared to FMS? Uh, I'm glad you asked that question. I've only had two Dynam airplanes so far, and um, one of them was, is this one, and this is the newest generation of uh, Dynam airplanes. I think generally everybody knows that Dynam is like a lower fidelity model. Like the, the generally the fit and finish in the past has not been as nice as some of the others, but they usually fly really well, um, and they're inexpensive. And a lot of guys love to buy Dyna models because they like the idea that they're inexpensive. And you can kind of fix them up. You know, and, and a lot of the times you have to do some things. And, and this airplane in particular, if you guys have seen the video on this, and I think I'm, I'm going to do a live stream on this tomorrow, actually, where we'll talk more detail about it. But I had to do a few things to this. But for the most part, this went together really well. My, my only real big, big, big complaint, uh, as you guys can see back there and I talked about in the video, is little quality control things like this, the color. You know, we got a lighter blue and a darker blue. I don't know why they didn't get the color the same. That would be real easy to fix with a paintbrush or airbrush or something. So, but other than that, everything fit beautifully. It has really nice uh, tail, uh, um, as you can see right there, it's got very nice uh, tail struts. It has wing wires. It fit well. I had to do a little stuff to the motor. If you guys check out those videos on RC Inform, I go into all that stuff there. So, and I think we'll do a Q&A on this probably tomorrow. I think I'll do another... I'm going to try out another live stream tomorrow, see if I can get it going without any glitches tomorrow. We'll talk about this probably tomorrow, I think. So um, let's see. Rich asked a question. Can you please oh, hang on a second? Let me see that. Let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, guys, there's a lot of questions across, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, get to these. Raymond, how are you doing? RC Informer from New York City. Thanks, man. Great videos. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Tired of looking for them, and I couldn't find them. Laugh my ass. <laughs> All right, that's Gav, man. He's giving me static. So, 
Um, me and Gav were the ones uh, that were flying. We flew the F-16s together. He was the one that flew that with me uh, in our latest video, or one of our latest videos there coming from, um, uh, um, where were we at? Um, at the Imperial RC Club. We flew the F-16s together. Gav can fly. I think he and I are going to be doing a lot of flying together uh, uh, lately. Pay it forward. Uh, awesome recovery. Okay, appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I probably shouldn't have hit the fence to start with, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what is the definition of a superior pilot? The superior pilot is one who uses his uh, superior judgment so he won't need the use of his superior skills. So anyway, but yeah, I, I pulled that one off. Uh, let's see. Uh, FMS needs to make a C-130. I was trying to find somebody. Someone was asking me a question. I like looking at it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, beautiful Rafal. Mike Bird, you're right. A lot of people don't like those crazy paint jobs. I love those paint, crazy <clears throat> paint jobs because, you know, most of the time fighter planes are gray, so you can't see them. <laughs> you don't want somebody to see you, but... When you're flying a model airplane, man, you want it colorful so it's easier to see. So I dig that paint job. The yellow tiger on the top, the blue on the bottom, and the gray nose. And I think that thing is slick. I'm going to be really pumped to get that and fly that one around. That's going to be good. And the Rafal, you assemble it with like a couple of screws, folks. You don't glue anything on that airplane. You just throw it together and go. That's one of the nice things about, you know, FMS and the Horizon stuff. They go together pretty well. Um, Let's see. Wonder why the yellow version shows that it has pilots, but the blue does not. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when are you coming to flight demo at our field? Osceola. I do have to come down to Osceola, Victor. That's Victor. All right. It's my pal, Victor. We fly Mustangs together sometimes. Um, yeah, I got to come down there. It's been a while since I've been there. Um, um, the problem we have here in Orlando is that Orlando, they don't, they don't like model airplanes. The city does not like them, and they don't want them here, and I always have to drive far. You guys are kind of far for me, but, yeah, I'll head down. Let me know. Hey, Victor, let me know when there's another event or when you got something going on, and, and I'll come down. You know, I'll bring some planes and fly for the day or whatever. Uh, that'd be fun. Um, uh, about the Arrows J3 Cub, blue and white, can't get the elevator to work. They say it's uh, – I don't, I don't know about the Arrows J3 Cub. I'm not familiar with that. I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, let's see. Uh, where were we doing? Where are we looking at? Sorry, guys. I'm scrolling here. Uh, like the Dynam PT-17, but seems a little pricey compared to the other Dynam biplanes. Uh, yeah, it might be, but it's a newer plane too, folks. So um, you know, and it is big. I mean, it's 13 here. I mean, it's 1,300 millimeters. It's a huge size. It fit together really well, and. Um, you know, except for the nose. Again, check out the video, the build guide on that, folks, the build assembly and stuff. You'll see what I did. But everything fit pretty well overall. Just the cowling was really where it needed some attention going to it. Um, also, folks, when I got this airplane, um, uh, just so you guys know, some of the stuff I do with these planes, it was actually missing some parts, but it's not missing parts anymore. I contacted them. I said, hey, we got to you're missing this, 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 and they said, okay, we'll just, so that's why the, the sale of it got delayed, because they, 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 they got the parts, put them back in the box. The plane is complete now, guys, so I'm glad I had a look at it and got to kind of go through it with a fine-tooth comb and find out what it needed, and that's, so you guys, if you guys get one of these, you will get a complete kit, so don't, no worries there. And I love it. It's a nice flying airplane. It's just, uh, it's a very cool four-cell flies beautifully. It's real aerobatic, nice and smooth. Check out the video, folks. You'll, you'll see it on there. It's, it's nice. Um, Dynam are good budget planes, and with a little TLC, they're even better. Pay it forward. You're right. Uh, let's see. wonder why the yellow... Okay, I already saw that. Let me scroll a little farther down. Let's see. Uh, pretty nice looking. Looks nice. Rich, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the glider next uh, month. We'll be watching videos when they come out. Yeah, I'm going to get those out next, folks. I'm going to try here in the next day or so to kind of edit. Editing is where it takes me the longest time to get stuff going. We can film it all quickly, but then having to piecemeal it together, and then, you know, you get kids and stuff going on. So, uh, but yeah, I'll get that. Uh, the glider is awesome, folks. This thing is sweet. You're going to, it's probably one of the nicest gliders, and it glides all day long. We got a video, we got a long video to put out of that, of it gliding, again, putting it in and out of the box and assembling it. It's cool. Um, uh, what's up, buddy? Josh Weaver, thanks for coming. 
uh, RC modeling, AKA customizing. There's Jeff, yeah. Jeff and I are gonna be working on, I think we're gonna be working on some charge boxes too. I had a couple ideas. I, uh, we've been meaning to talk about it, but I got a couple ideas for making a cool charge box for everybody. Let's see, uh, great, thanks. Let me see here. Um, uh, where are we looking here? Uh, General hobbies, one who, pl who plans his flight path and is aware of all surroundings and aware of his plane. Okay, uh, awesome. Um, Mike, I love it. Let's see, Victor, we have a lot of gray days by the coast. So a colorful jet, really. Yeah, I agree with you, man, a colorful jet. I like Thunderbirds, Blue Angels. I love that Rafale. Uh, any of these fighter jets that have color on them, I like the uniqueness of the paint job. I know a lot of guys like gray, but, and gray is kind of the standard, you know, kind of military paint, but um, they're hard to see. And when you're getting older, it gets hard to see too. So, all right, let's see. Uh, only 9.35 UK, this is good. Good form of, uh, is nothing like this in the UK. Okay, this is okay, cool. Uh, what's your favorite planes to fly? And when are you flying for fun? Um, well, every time I fly, guys, it's for fun. I mean, you know, just I love flying. That's just what I like doing. That's why we all kind of do it. So um, uh, my favorite airplane, everybody knows it. I'll say it again. It's the FMS Tiger Cat. It's just simply awesome. Uh, it's probably the, the, the best warbird out there. If you want to get a good EPO warbird, it's, it's kind of the fine. It's very easy to fly, very powerful, flies nice and slow well, flies for a long time. It's very efficient. The best landing gear in the business period. Uh, just just awesome. Um, let's see, pay it forward. Keep it going, Rich. I got to hit the road uh, to the house. Uh, I'll try to catch up with the streams. Awesome, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, general Hobbies. Well, let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, uh, this is a lot of reading, guys. This is my first time doing this. There's a lot of stuff to... Uh, I wish you could all just call in. Let's see. Um, how about the new AMA article... 349 safety tests. Yeah, that kind of bites. I actually had not heard about the cost of that, but yeah, all this FAA stuff is a darn mess. It really is. Um, I did two videos on that, so check that out. I could go on all day about what's going on with the FAA and drones and stuff, but um, safety is an issue, but it's really not much about safety. It's more about you know, the drone commerce that they want to usher in, that they are going to usher in, and they want to basically sort of use eminent domain, the government, to sort of take the airspace from the ground up. So that's why we're losing fields, and that's why, you know, we can't create any new fields after the rule goes into effect or a year after or something like that. So because it's probably going to interfere with airspace structures that they're going to put in for, for drone commerce. So, but we'll see how that goes, you know. Even Uber wants to transport people via drone, and that's why they want the low altitude airspace, and they don't want to mess with, you know, model airplane flying fields and stuff. Here, I got my computer down here, so I'm trying to trying to do a double window deal here, and my other one up there. Uh, let's see, uh, what else do we have? Um, got 83 guys. Hey, I appreciate all three 83 guys being here. I appreciate it. We almost, I, think, I don't know, we might even hit 100 or for a period, but. Um, let's see, may have some numbers, uh, <clears throat> may have some numbers off, off correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure what that means. Um, uh, no fear, Dar, let's see, when, when is the calendar coming out? This is Daryl. Oh, are you guys talking about the, like, the swimsuit calendar, is that what you're referring to? I think that might have been, uh, yeah, that could happen, we'll see. Uh, inquire about that, guys. We may do that. I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to talk Amy into it, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Where are we here? Uh, man, lots of stuff. Lots of comments. Uh, let me roll over here. Keep it going, Rich. Got to hit the road now. I saw that one already. When is the count? Okay, Mike. Uh, do you buy all your planes, or are they given to you to do reviews? Honestly, most of them are given to me. In the very beginning, um, my cameraman, Pete, paid for most of them because I was out of work. I was out on a medical leave for five years. Pete bought all the airplanes to get going. 
and uh, we filmed everything. He let me build everything and fly everything. But then it kind of got the attention of manufacturers and stuff, and, and then they said, hey, can we send you this? Can we send you this? So we started, you know, taking on airplanes that way, but, you know, we started off really doing R&D. I mean, promo is one thing, but, you know, we do a, pro a lot of product improvement and R&D, and also it allows me to show you guys some things that if I ever have to change anything or fix anything or I find a way to do it better, I can let the factory know. They can change it on the production line or prior to production, and then... Um, also, I can show you guys what I did to fix it and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it's um, a lot of guys are getting planes now, folks. A lot of companies do. In the past, they didn't, but now they do. So, um, you know, it gives us an opportunity to kind of tell you what we think of an airplane. You know, it's it's uh, it's actually kind of nice. It's uh, and and plus, it lets me get the airplanes. They like it when someone like me or you know a lot of us will take a lot of reviewers will take the airplanes to events. I usually routinely go to big events like Joe Nall and stuff. I'll take 15 to 20 airplanes that you see. All of these airplanes, these will be with me at events as long as they're relevant. So probably Joe Nall next year, I'll have, you know, this Dynam airplane. I'll have the FMS Glider. We'll have the Rafale, the Corsair. We'll have all the E-Flight airplanes. We'll get the, uh, we're getting the longitude going too. Um, you know, the SU-30, all that stuff. We'll have all the current models there to fly. I have FMS airplanes, folks, that are six and seven years old, you know, that I've been kind of test flew for the factory, found flaws and stuff. And then um, I still fly them. I still take them to events. So they all go with me. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, we get a lot of use out of that stuff. Um, uh, where are we looking at? Uh, let's see, Gap Street, Durable, uh, apparently, let's see, RC Informer. Um, Steerman looks nice. That was, uh, uh, planes, archery, tennis table. Yes, archery is nice plane. Keep up the good work. I appreciate your channel. Uh, your unbiased approach towards the reviews, tons of info. Yeah, I try to put info, Guniac. I try to put as much info as I possibly can. Um, uh, and where oh, I just lost that. Man, you guys type too fast. Let's see, Rennie. Uh, hi, Rich. Love your videos. When is the FML or foul? Again, guys, probably. Soon is probably mid-October, uh, maybe late, but we'll see. Uh, maybe into November, but let's see. So there's supply and transport issues from China. So uh, at RC Informa, I was ill. Okay. Uh, love you doing the videos with the grass ops. Yes, grass ops, man. That is what I try to specialize in. Anybody, we can all fly them off a runway. Runways are actually, or anything can fly off a runway, but runways, man, they're harsher on airplanes. I would much rather fly anything off of grass. Anytime you drag a wing, maybe flip it over even or whatever, you don't damage the airplane. On cement, you do. So uh, cement does not really give or, or asphalt. Um, let's see. I was in two AMA magazines, Gav Street. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood was in there. Let's see. Uh, uh, what else we got? Amazon and Bully Out of Mo What does that say? Amazon and... What is that? All right. I got to put my glasses on for this. Amazon and bully out of the models. I'm not sure what that means. Fully out of the models. I'm not sure what that means. Frustrating for people wanting to get into the model airplane side. General hobbies. It's frustrating for people to get into the model plane side of RC. Uh, do you order from general hobby? Um, I don't, but I'll start looking. Uh, I was kind of not aware uh, too much. I've heard of general hobby, I think, but I'll go take a look. Is it just generalhobbies.com? Is that what it is? Send, send me the link and I'll check it out. Um, let's see. Uh, as, as a French, I'm waiting for your review of the Rafale. I am dying to do the Rafale. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped about that. Uh, Guniac, howdy, table tennis. Uh, got to do my desk. Raven Rock. Oh, just got to my desk. Jeff said, yeah, I was having... Oh, my mic died. My, uh, um, my, my mic quit. It wasn't working, and I changed out. And at the last minute, it started working. So I put it on and just went. I was going to set all this up with some more stuff, but I had five minutes to go put all this stuff up. <laughs> so I was grabbing planes and throwing things everywhere because I spent an hour working on the mic. But thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, thanks, your wife, for uh, helping me out. Uh, they were all helping me. I called Jeff in a panic. At Jeff's customer said, hey, Jeff, what's... Can you help me out with the mic? And so his, he put his wife on the phone. <laughs> so she helped me out, but we kind of got it going here. 
Uh, first show, and you have almost 100 people, Gooniak. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate all that. Um, uh, let's see. It's so helpful, Mike. Let's see. I'm going to try and do more of this if I can, folks, uh, as much as I can. Uh, order about five planes and jets from General Hobby. they just as great as the big sites. Yeah, I'll check it out. Send me the link, uh, EQ. Send me the link, uh, Eric. Send me the link for, uh, uh, for General Hobby. Let me check it out. Um, I can, I can probably, you know, promote them a little too. Uh, FMS P40, did you add more nose weight? I don't think I did. The 1400 millimeter? No, I don't think I did. But I usually fly it, if I'm not mistaken. I put like a 4000 milliamp pack in there as far forward as I can get it in that tray, and that balances it. Um, general hobbies. Anybody interested in the surface side of RC and maybe even bring out planes out, all out RC, uh, uh, out or... Yeah, all out. Sorry, it's my, my vision here. Let's see. I'm just kind of squinting to see that. It's far away. Uh, all out RC in Orlando, Zellwood. Opi okay, weekend of the 12th and 13th. Hey, send me, a, send me some links. Send me an email about that. It's rcinformer.rich at gmail.com. Uh, Rich, get them. Do the mosquito like the tiger cat. Yeah, no, I've, I've said that. I'd love to see a mosquito. I'd love to see an A26, B25 at FMS. Um, so, but it's tooling costs. It's a lot of expense to make a plane like that. So, uh, here, let's see. Um, I actually, funny thing, I still have my free wing mosquito because it's so unique. I just haven't flown in a while. Um, uh, Josh Weaver, craziness right here. We are not sure if this will be a one-time only test or will have to be uh, retaken after a certain amount of years. I'm not sure what that means exactly, but... Um, Hey guys, I am going to try to do, I, I have set up, I'll schedule for tomorrow. I'm going to do a, more of a live stream tomorrow, more specifically on this plane right here. It's, uh, it's just a pretty nice plane, brand new. I want to talk about it in a little more detail, and uh, we'll talk about some other things too, probably. Um, Randy, sorry I missed the show Sunday. Okay, skeptical, that's excuse me. Let's see where we're at. Okay, what else? Okay, Rich, you could show me, uh, show me the... Show me the smoke. That's right, man. Eric knows, like all things, everything runs on smoke, okay? So as long as the smoke stays inside, it runs. As soon as the smoke comes out, you know, uh, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. So <laughs> anyway, that's, that's just one way of, uh, of, uh, of looking at it. So uh, anyway, guys, um, uh, hey, I appreciate everybody watching. We're kind of dwindling down to 83, but still, we got a pretty good show here. Not bad. Um, if anybody has anything else, throw it in there. Uh, a couple things I want to throw at everybody. Um, um, I want to thank everybody for um, really watching the channel over the years, and thank everybody for um, for lately using my affiliate links. Um, you know, Steve and I work pretty hard at this, and um, you know, it was just I think last March we started doing affiliate links at Horizon Hobby. We started doing them at Hobby Zone, um, BitGo Hobby that you know sells all the Dynam stuff, and then I have an Amazon store. So those are all places. If you guys want to support us, we do appreciate that. If you guys use our links to purchase something, it co doesn't cost you guys a dime. It just we get a little commission out of it. It supports the work we do, putting into the videos and everything. Helps us pay for helps us pay for cameras and gas and tolls and computers and desks and you know all the stuff. So. You know, uh, I'm constantly pouring money into RC all the time to get these videos out and stuff. So, um, yeah, we appreciate you guys using our links uh, for sure. Um, also, um, probably like most guys, I just started a merch store, so I'm going to have some T-shirts below. Um, so if you guys want to get shirts, hats, mugs, whatever, if you want something specific, let me know. I'm trying to put our logo on them and make some designs and things. And, um, uh, you know, we're going to have all that. And then... Probably in the future, I think we may do a Patreon. So if you guys want to consider supporting us through Patreon, we're probably going to do that as well. Um, 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 I, I, I did, and I want to touch on something for you guys just to kind of consider a little bit. I did activate Super Chats in this, okay? It's a way to monetize the channel. However, okay, I would prefer it, you know, um, instead of Super Chatting, guys, I would prefer it if you guys actually just keep your money and buy a good airplane. Buy yourself a nice airplane. I'm only recommending stuff. The stuff you see on my channel is the stuff that I fly. So I'd rather you guys, instead of super chatting, 
you know, save your money and buy a good airplane. Use it to buy yourself something cool. Buy one of these planes or whatever. And if you do get it, use our link. If you guys use our link, it doesn't cost you guys a dime. It supports us, and that's kind of a win-win for everybody. So, um, again, we appreciate it because there's been a lot of response um, um, to the affiliate links that we've put up, and we've never done that. Everybody else has sort of been doing it. I know a lot of the other reviewers have had affiliates for a long time. We've never done it. You know, we just didn't, but we figured, you know, everybody's kind of doing it. So, all right, let's put some affiliate links, and we started using it, and it's, and it's working out pretty good. And the nice thing is, is um, you know, you guys get an awesome airplane. Doesn't cost you a dime more. It supports us. It puts all, uh, helps us all work. And uh, I'd, I'd rather you guys, uh, rather you guys get a good airplane, get a cool plane, um, with your money and stuff. So I uh, really appreciate that. Um, TCAT RC, great job, Rich. Congrats on the first live stream. Thanks. It's, I think it's going pretty well. I think we got a good amount of people for a first, uh, first show. Uh, Mike Bird, we appreciate you, Rich. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. I, uh, I started RC Informer years and years ago, Mike. Um, um, uh, when I was, um, I was out on a medical for a long time with a heart issue and stuff, so I started the channel to kind of focus a little bit and then also to kind of give back to RC, kind of show people the stuff that I know, kind of help folks get things going, help the manufacturers make the airplanes a little bit better if we could. And it all worked out. It kind of worked that way, and it's turned out to be kind of a nice, nice thing. So, um, uh, and I, I like doing it. Uh, thoughts about the new CJ6 V2? It's awesome. I think we just talked about that a little earlier on. Uh, same airplane, new paint job, lights in it, landing light, wingtip lights. Now it's four cell power instead of three cell. I'm dying to get it. Two bladed prop, so it's going to be more powerful. The old one was powerful as it is. If you guys can get an older one, you guys want to get the older one, you like the older paint job, three cell. It's an awesome plane at three cell, so, but the new one's four. And I, I, swear, I hear the landing gear is new, too. I think there's some changes to it. We'll talk about that when we, uh, a little later on. Let's see. Nice, Rich. Uh, uh, let's see. Budiak. Uh, uh, fire booty. Good man. I was thinking to put smoke machine in the plane or jet. Oh, is that what you're talking about? And dogfight. Yeah, if you can make up a smoke machine, I'll tell you what, Eric, if you can come up with a good smoke machine and crash and burn. Well, I've actually, well, I've landed a plane and then it burned. I don't know if that counts. Uh, <laughs> So, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, love the E-Flight Phantom in F4 and the videos you did on it. Thank you for watching those. We put a lot of effort. The last one we just put out was with the missiles on it. I got to say, the F4 Phantom that E-Flight makes, without a doubt, is probably the nicest bang for the buck EDF jet I think you can probably buy. I mean, it's close there with the uh, F-16 from E-Flight because that, that plane is small and you can do a lot with it. But the Phantom, as far as scale jets go, the beauty about that plane, no gluing, no stickers, okay? Um, nine screws, I think it is. And it comes with the AS-3X receiver stabilization. You put a six cell battery in it and you, you, you go cranking around the sky and it flies great. It flies out of the box better than any Phantom on the market, period. So it's a real easy plane. That's a very easy plane to endorse because it's so well made. It has so much features for a scale jet. The price is reasonable. And man, it is as close as you can get to pushing an easy button on an EDF jet. So it's just awesome. I'll have that one at the next probably a couple years of events, you know, as long as they're still producing it, I'll have it out there because it's just, it's fun. And even with the missiles, if you guys see the last video we did, with the missiles, it flies great with the missiles. It's almost just as fast. So, um, um, who makes that table you are using? Oh, um, yeah, everybody likes my desk. Uh, this thing right here, honestly, I don't know who makes it. It's electric. I use it as a lift, so it's electric, and I can stand under it or stand up. And I can get under airplanes without having to kneel over. But, um, but you get this at Costco. So if you guys check Costco, um, look at their inventory. I don't, know if they're on, I don't know if they're online. They just came out with actually a white one in the store. So if you go to Costco, you can get this. It's an electric desk. It's really nice. It's got a glass top, so I put some shelf liner on it. Um, we had this on, uh, on uh, Mary Boozer's channel, too. Wes was there. And uh, everybody was going crazy about the desk. I got it just because it's nice because it's like a lift for a car. You can raise it up and you can stand up and get under the airplane easy without the, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. So um, let's see. Uh, Rich, do you still fly real planes? Tracy Lott. Yes, I do. Um, I'm currently flying 
um, the Boeing 767 and 757. So, um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, it's nice to fly. I, I was a flight instructor for a long time. I flew uh, RJ's regional jets and turbo propellers for smaller airlines and then went on to a major flying bigger plane. So, yes, I currently am flying. But, you know, with COVID, it's slowed down. So, um, uh, but we will get back to flying more and more here as time goes on. Um, general hobbies, plenty of different types of smoke machines used in RC like drift cars and Tamiya semi-truck. Hey, send me an email. We'll talk about some stuff. Uh, let's see. I love my F4 Phantom. It's sweet. Lionel Randall. Yes, it is. It is awesome. In fact, at the next Joan All or next big event, in fact, actually, the next big event is probably going to be um, down at the Imperial RC Club, guys. That's going to be, I think, like the little Joan All. So it's coming up... Uh, November. Check on Wesley's channel. He's got the, the dates on that, but it's going to be down here in, um, uh, shoot, what was the city? Uh, it's around, it's around, um, uh, it's around Kissimmee. I'm trying to remember the city. It's not coming to mind, but that's going to be a good event down there. Jerry McGee is the president there. He does an awesome job down there and a uh, great runway and great flying. A, a lot of the videos we just put out are from that event, from, from the earlier event, but we're going to have another one coming up soon here, folks. So um, and again, it will be November, so if you guys can come down in November, de descend on. It's going to be like a two- or three-day event. Uh, I know Wesley's going to be there, I'm going to be there, and it's going to be a, a big time probably. So uh, uh, we need to kind of rekindle uh, RC with all this COVID stuff going on. Um, let's see, Rich, you said, oh, you already said that. Let's see, love my E-Flight. I think I saw that, Don. Uh, Don, do uh, Rich, glad you had s assembled... Glad I had stumbled across your channel many years ago. Always enjoy your videos. Thanks, Don. Appreciate that. Thanks for, uh, thanks for staying and watching. Uh, Jeff, now. All right, let's see. When is that, guys? Victor's RC. Is it 21st and 22nd, Victor? Is that what it is? Yeah, Mulberry. Thank you, Mulberry. It just wasn't coming to my mind. Thanks, Rich. Uh, yeah, Mulberry, guys. I think that's going to be a big event. Unless somehow the city gets involved and says, no, you guys got to have masks or you can't get together. I don't think anybody cares, really. I think we're getting together because, you know, this COVID stuff is sort of, you know, kind of burning itself out a little bit. Um, uh, Jeff, can't type. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Um, let's see. if Do I have any other thing? I put a couple of things on here, uh, a couple notes. Um, I think that's about it. Hey guys, whatever you want to see, make some requests. I got a lot of review videos coming out here soon. I'm going to be cranking them out again. We'll be having the FMS glider. We'll do another couple flights on this uh, Dynam PT-17, folks. This is a nice plane. Uh, we'll do some more. I got to do a flight on this on pavement so you guys can see it. I got to see what it's like on pavement. But uh, it's pretty awesome. I love these flying wires. We're going to have the, uh, the Longitude coming out here. We also have the uh, E-Flight uh, P-51 Mustang, the e the E-150 we're going to be doing, the, the transport cargo plane. Wesley at Mary Boozer's got some coming out, I think, even tonight. So check his channel out because I think he's got that stuff going on. Um, and um, uh, let's see, what else have I got going on? Uh, I think I'm going to be doing the Habu Trainer for you guys, too. And I think I need you guys to vote, okay? I need you guys to um, let me know. If you'd like to see Amy flying that plane, I talked her. I think I might have talked her into let me train her to fly on the Habu. I'm working on it, um, so we may uh, we may get uh, we may get Amy uh, Amy out there flying. I'm going to try and get. Uh, uh, I may have to start calling it the Barbie Jet. She, she's uh, she's she's flown a few things with me, but I got to get her taken off and landing and that kind of stuff. So so anyway, um, uh, but. Uh, Let's see, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of new releases, guys, coming. FMS stuff, Horizon stuff's coming. Um, and we'll be doing that. Guniac, Fire Booty, would be great to see her fly. Yeah, you know, and she'd be good at it, man. She's, uh, she's actually pretty sharp when I give her new stuff to do or, you know, something challenging. She's awesome at it. I mean, she's, uh, um, uh, yeah, she's, uh, uh, what is it, Rough One said, yeah, she's smoking hot. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty awesome. She's a cool girl. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's my secret weapon, man. She is the official RC Informer fly girl. And, the guys, when, we, when we're at events and stuff, the cool thing, she loves to go to events. When we're at Joe Nall and all in the fall, she's always there. So, you know, you guys can, uh, you guys can uh, come say hi. You know, she's always there kind of hanging out with me and stuff, and, and it's awesome. Let's see. Uh, uh, 
dynam cata what is that? What does that say? Dynam oh dynam catalina, that's nice, yeah. I thought about doing one of those next uh, at some point. Um, um, do you still have the LXB25 EQRC? Yes, I still have it. It's just been kind of gathering dust because I haven't, you know, I've had so many other things to do. But I'll get it out there again and, and uh, probably, f I, actually, you know what, I need to get it out with Wesley because Wesley just got one. I'd love to see, um, I'd love to see LX um, update that plane. Because if that plane was updated, the airframe's actually pretty good. It could use some wing spars in it, but it's a great flying plane. It flies like a glider with motors. It just uh, has big flaps. It comes in nice and slow. And um, I still have the stock power system. The key is, is you've got to put propellers on it. Um, <coughs> from the FMS um, uh, Hellcat, which is actually the same prop now as the FMS Tiger Cat. So if you use those three-bladed props on that plane, it has a lot more power, a lot more pull to it. So that's that's kind of the secret. That's not my thing. I think, I think, um, I think Brandon Moon came up with that, or he got it from somebody. I can't remember. And then they passed it on to me, and I was like, that's a good idea. So we made that work. So uh, great job as always. Looking forward to more uh, streams and videos. Yes, again, guys, we will do a stream. I think we're going to do one tomorrow. Um, I, I, I'm going to schedule one for tomorrow. Um, if you all are good with it, I think I'm going to do it around 7 o'clock. We'll talk about the Dynam and anything else you guys want to talk about, but we'll, we'll kind of focus on the, uh, the uh, PT-17 for tomorrow. It'll be like a Dynam day tomorrow or something, like Dynam Thursday or something. Um, uh, let's see, Gav Street, great job. Uh, uh, yeah, I got to meet her. It was uh, at IRC. Yeah, see, me, eh, see my grandma. We're talking. Yep, Gav met her. Uh, let's see, hi, Rich. Love the live stream, I think. A test of the FMS 70 millimeter F-18 Hornet would be great. Yeah, um, there really isn't a great unboxing and flight review. Okay, maybe I'll. Uh, all right, yeah, let me see. Um, you know, what? I think I actually have one of those. I think I just got so busy I didn't get to it. So let me see if I can get that. Uh, uh, will you be doing your live streams at this time? Honestly, guys, uh, it, it would help me out if you guys could comment on when you would like to see a live stream. Uh, like a regular one. I don't know if I'm going to do it every week. I'm going to try and do it when I have stuff to really talk about. Um, um, so let me know. I was actually going to probably target um, probably Saturday earlier on just because those are typically days that I'm off. Um, and uh, But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Uh, but, but please comment. Let me know what guys, if you guys can vote for the day you'd like to see a live stream, like a day in time. I'm Eastern time. So, you know, if you guys let me know when you'd like to see it, I'll see if I can kind of put some votes together and maybe go with that. Um, let's see. Uh, you need to get Amy with another model wearing that red, white, and blue swimsuit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with another model. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going uh, to. Actually, we did get her a British bikini for the Hawk. So that's going to be coming soon. So, you know, stay tuned. Uh, let's see. I got that plane too pitchy because the wing root. I'm not sure what that is. Wing root glib. I don't know what that says. Let's see. Uh, I got the plane too pitchy. Oh, okay. Oh, were you talking about the, uh, yeah, were you talking about the, uh, the F-18? Is that what it was? Um, I think, hey, man, I might be getting one of those F-18s, so we're going to go crazy with those things. Uh, how do you like it anyway, by the way? Uh, leave your comment there. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, all right, Robert uh, Petrinik, uh, he's in the house, too. Great show, my friend. Robert, thanks for coming by, checking it out. Um, I appreciate it. You know, Robert used to watch my uh, channel a long time ago when he had no subscribers. I think he's doubled mine, so he's doing really good. Glad to see, uh, glad to see Robert here. He does a good job with his videos. Awesome. And, and you guys got to come to Nall. Uh, uh, you guys got to come, Robert, you guys got to come to Nall and, and come hang out for a week with us, man. It'd be great. So uh, uh, think about it. Next year, if this COVID stuff is done, you got to come. Um, 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 and just so you know, and you probably already know this, but, uh, you know, our first lady Slovenian is, and you probably know that already, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, anytime early, I work third shift, okay? Tell me what, uh, great Scott RC, tell me what, the, tell me what, um, 
Uh, tell me what you think about early. Um, uh, let's see. Then would be a good around this time, as some are seeing this from the UK. Okay, that's that's something to consider. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pilot Rob. Okay. Hope they're doing well. My friend just cussed on Steve. Uh, this is a good time. Okay, so this is a good time in the UK. I'll check the. Yeah. Okay, it's about a few hours. Was it like five hours? I'll have to check that out. I'll look at my time zone thing there. Uh, need to do a Zoom Thursday night. Okay. Looking forward to that photo shoot. Anytime you're live will work for me. Petnik Brothers, uh, hey, Pilot Robert. Yeah, okay, that's what they're going to come at. Nice to see you. All right, cool. Let's see. Uh, let's see. RC Informer, yeah. oh, what'd he say? Uh, you know, some guy was talking about the FMS 70 mil F-18 and told you, oh, to review on it, I was uh, talking to him. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, Man, that's a lot of reading, man. I wish you guys could just all voice in. It'd be great. Uh, let's see. Although that might be a lot of noise, too. Uh, right on, Pilot Robert. Uh, Melania lives close to me and Blas. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome that you guys have, a, you guys have sort of a, a representative in the White House. That's kind of cool. Um, um, hey, man. This is the melting pot of people from everybody here. Uh, it's good. Um, uh, this time is great any day. Uh, that is good for you, my friend. Uh, let's see. What's up with everybody? Uh, damn. Damn had to work. Is that... Uh, what was in the box? Oh, what was in the box? Here. I'll hear a short sneak preview, but you can go back and watch the video, too. This was all swag from FMS, so there's a really... Somebody's calling me. Let me turn that off. Let's see. Uh, there was an FMS bottle. They send me some cool stuff. You guys can get these things actually on the FMS website. Uh, there's an FMS inflatable neck deal. There we go. I feel like the Petrenic brothers. People are sending me stuff. Well, it's from FMS, but let's see here. Uh, and then uh, what else was it? Uh, there was a really nice laptop backpack with the FMS logo. So. You guys can find all this stuff. Uh, like I said, you can find this on the FMS site. They're going to have all this for sale. Once shipping gets better and they can start getting these kinds of things out, it's really cool stuff to have. Um, but I will take this with me when I'm flying, when I'm commuting and traveling and stuff. So, But yeah, check it out. We unboxed it pretty thoroughly later, earlier on, I mean. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Um, here, let's see what we got. Let me get this thing out of here. Uh, Let's see how it does it. Uh, uh, Patrick Brothers RC, is that why Melania left too close to the Petra? <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's see. No, man, that's not why they, she left. Let's see. Uh, uh, planes, RC, you got an IMACC competition. Okay, cool. Randy, 6 p.m. North Carolina. Uh, let's see. Oh, after 6 p.m. North Carolina. Okay, that's Eastern time. That's cool. Yeah, and I was thinking about that. I was actually thinking like 6 or 7 Eastern time is kind of what I was thinking because I didn't want to go too late. I figured most people probably had dinner by then. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I might do. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah, Josh, Spencer, they like you. Amazing stuff from FMS. Yeah, guys, FMS is making some cool stuff. Okay, this time, suits down under, build videos. I built my free wing uh, DH-98 from your build video. Oh, cool. Uh, do you know if there is a new and possibly larger uh, on a way? It could be. I would imagine somebody's going to make, I think the DH, I, I can't remember, the DH-98. That's obviously the, uh, the Mosquito, I guess. Um, yeah, I would imagine somebody's going to come up with a Mosquito again, too. I'm, I was trying to get FMS to do it because the FMS Tiger Cat is so awesome that that would be a perfect platform for it, you know? Same motors, similar props. You don't have to re, re you know, it's got spinners on it, so they have to redo that. But it's basic, same, same power plant, basically the same. Single six cell, that's the way to go. Um, uh, again, what model version is the glider behind you? This is the FMS ASW, thir uh, AS, ASW uh, 13, uh, uh, 17, sorry, ASW 17. Super nice glider, brand new on the market. I put the stripes on it. Here it is right here. I have links in the description below in my uh, glider. Uh, well, no, actually, I haven't even put the glider videos out. I got to make those. Those are coming out here real soon. But on Instagram, guys, follow us on Instagram. We got lots of pictures of the glider we just put out because we just filmed it. So 
we'll have those out. But if you use my Horizon links to purchase, guys, that does support the channel, and it doesn't cost you guys anything. Again, I'm trying to spread that around. That, you know, if you guys want to support us, that's awesome. Um, it's the way to do it. I prefer that over the super chat stuff because um, the super chat stuff and nothing against it. I, you know, if you guys can want to support us that way, that's cool. But I'd rather you guys, again, I'd rather you guys just keep your money and buy yourself a cool plane. You know, spend the money on yourself on the airplane. And then if you use our links to purchase something, like I said, we get a little commission. It doesn't cost you guys any more, and it supports us. You guys get a great plane. Like I said, win-win. It helps everybody out. It's just really awesome. Um, uh, we need more video from Slovenia. They're going to be cranking some stuff out, guys. They still have more stuff to do there. Um, here, let me look and see. Uh, uh, Jeff's Custom RC, great show, class act. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, Josh. Um, the time works. This time works for Australia. I think I'm going to be targeting. I think that's good. I think I'm going to be targeting like six ish, seven ish. I think five is maybe a little too early for East time because I'm on the East Coast, guys. Um, uh, it's first thing in the morning here, and I can watch before work. Okay. Uh, all right. Great start for the day. And guys, please um, let me know about what time you want to see the stream at. You know what I mean? Um, I'll try to accommodate. It's hard to kind of accommodate like everybody, but. Um, but I'll try to, I'll try to, you know, I got to keep it Eastern cone time, Eastern seat, um, Eastern time for me as well. Just, but I'll try to kind of get everybody in. And again, guys, it's going to be on the channel. We leave it on the channel so you guys can watch it any time too if you can't catch it. So don't, don't worry about that. Um, uh, in the morning, how to watch, uh, can watch for a great start for the day. Yeah, good. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, we'll post the maiden of the name, Navy, uh, Venom Cat. Okay. Uh. Uh, that's Robert. Okay, yeah, that thing's pretty cool, Robert. I like that thing. Is that an older plane, or is that something newer from uh, Hobby King, or is that because uh, that looks pretty sweet? It looks like an older like sport jet turbine, uh, basically. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Let's go. Let me widen this up. Let's see. Error. YouTube not enough for seeing and maintain smooth streaming. Such viewers will experience buffeting. Okay, let's see. Are you guys still got me? I'm getting a message here saying there's a, a buffeting, buffer, buffering issue. Uh, can you guys still see me okay? Let's see, open widget. I just got a notice here that said that uh, YouTube's not receiving uh, enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So if it's chopping up, guys, that's something going on. Um, uh, stream status, something's going on. If you guys lose me... Uh, that would be a bummer, but let's see if it'll kick back on here. Give it a second. Just give it a little time, and let's see if it comes back on here. Uh, let's see. Who's coming out with a nice... I just saw a thing there. Who's coming out with a nice 1,600-millimeter zero? I don't know, uh, Brian. Um, let's see, keep working on FMS. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on the Mosquito. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing them. I pushed them on the Tiger Cat, and they made that, so I'll keep pushing. Um, and even Flightline, Motion RC, they may come out with one. Um, <coughs> I tell you what, who has a nice zero? It's an older plane, but I have one I'm going to do videos of here soon. It's actually FMS has the 1400 millimeter zero. I'm pretty sure it's in stock at Horizon Hobby. So if you want to get one there, they got them. And that is a nice plane. It's the green one, but it's, it's awesome. I mean, it's a little older generation, but it's awesome. I'm, I, I just filmed it on box. I actually have it right there. They also have an 1100 millimeter, but the 1400 millimeter is four cell. It's pretty awesome. It's a nice size. So, so hopefully someone will do a 1600 zero. In fact, um, you know, yeah, maybe want to come out here at some point. Um, the wife says I fly 90% jet, so good time to change my name. Let's see. Uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Class. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, guys, I got excellent reception back, so you guys should be having smoother streaming. Oh no, I just got poor again. So. Uh, send me comments, guys, if you guys are getting a poor stream going on. We may end it here pretty soon, so uh, anyway, because it's getting kind of getting kind of late. We've been doing this a uh, little over an hour, but we still got 77 guys here, so that's good. Um, oh, it's 11 p.m. in Slovenia. All right, good to know. All right, let's see. Uh, Gav, when I have 10,000 planes, I'll donate uh, till you... Uh, la you don't have to donate anything, man. Just get a plane. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, if you guys haven't seen Gav's videos, check him out, Gav Street 13. I'm trying to get him to change it. He came up with the idea to Gav Street RC. Uh, he probably, hopefully, will change that soon. 
but uh, check out Gavin's stuff. It's pretty cool. He and I are flying the F-16s in the video I just made at Imperial RC, so check that out. Um, let's see. This, this is a great time for us in New Zealand, too. Mike Cuthbert, thanks for coming. Uh, how much damage did the Tiger Cat? Not bad. Just the props and motors disappeared. <laughs> they just came off the plane. I'll put new ones on. Uh, I got a couple scrapes and scratches on it, but I landed it on the landing gear. It's fine. So, uh, so not bad. Um, yeah, I figured I'd show that. <laughs> it was, uh, was kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is this? Uh, let's see. Somebody wrote some stuff here. Let's see. You're good. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Okay, try after four because that's what time I get finished school. Okay. Oh, after four for sure, Gav. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it'll. It's probably going to be like six or something. So, because um, on four, I mean, I can't can't make everybody happy, but I got to do it at least on my time zone somewhat. But I'm trying to fit everybody in. But again, guys, even if you don't aren't here live, you'll be able to see it. Um, You'll be able to see it on the channel later because we're going to keep it on the channel. We're not going to delete the video so you guys can check it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, TNR, you okay now? Yes, yeah, still on. I'm still getting a poor indication, but maybe that. We have, actually, we got a thunderstorm going on overhead, so that might have something to do with it. Uh, Robert, uh, that is my work, Rich. Uh, uh, four planes together. Uh, let's see. Good here. Was buffering. Video's clear here in the oak. Okay, good. It, it's kind of coming and going. Like I said, it's Florida, guys, so we got some thunderstorms and rain going on now. So um, uh, let's see. Where's the, where's the Spectre, if I remember the name? Spectre, IBD Fly. Man, that's an old plane if you're talking about the Spectre. Is that that thing you're talking about I built in college? I don't even know how I remember that. Is that what you're talking about? IB, uh, IDD Fly? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, let's see, uh, still got you a couple minutes, your video buffered, okay, yeah, okay, uh, like I said, uh, fine from New Zealand, uh, still choppy, but not bad, funny, RC Air Marshal, uh, RC Air Marshal's here, let's see, a zero would be great, like I said, guys, FMS makes a great 1400 millimeter zero, um, it is more of a pavement airplane. It's not so much a grass plane just because the, those planes tend to tip a little more, but that's a great model. I'm going to do some videos of that 1400 millimeter uh, uh, FMS uh, Zero as well here. Um, and check it out at Horizon. It is at Horizon. If you guys use our links and get it, again, that helps us out. But they do have it at Horizon. And if you guys need a link, let me know. I can send it to you too. Uh, Brian, great, uh, Brian Brody, great show. Thanks for coming, man. Uh, let's see. Planes, Archer, let's see. Tennis, designing 3D print. Okay. Uh, for hearing how, oh, let's see, so you need a nozzle thing. Uh, for hearing, how are things for you? Okay, he's talking to somebody else. Uh, Air Marshal, uh, yeah. hey, thanks for coming, Dave. Uh, Jeff, Alabama, Jeff in Lower Alabama, thanks for coming. Let's see, just smash that button. Yeah, hey, hit the bell. Hit the notification bell, guys, because when we get this stuff out, you guys will be the first to get it. Um, I'm trying to say that in my video as much as possible. Man, it's a lot of stuff to say when you're filming these videos. You know, like and subscribe and share and, uh, you know, uh, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. It's, uh, it's um, I know when I look at videos, sometimes I'm not even thinking of that stuff, but, you know, I'm trying to put watermarks and things so you guys can make it a little easier for everybody. Hey, the viewer count went up to 83. Awesome, guys. It went down to kind of 70s, and uh, so good. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, let's see. Uh, not a problem with your video feed here in South Wisconsin. Yeah, it's still showing poor, poor but let's see. No problem with your video. Let's see. Uh, uh, my F8 F Bearcat is built. Arrows hit a home run. Yes, they did. And that Arrows plane was the 11 Hobby, and it, the molds got sold over to Arrows, and Arrows has been doing a nice job selling those. That's a nice Bearcat. If I remember, that's a three cell. I still have my Bearcat. I kept that plane because it's it's totally awesome, yeah. I'd like to see a bigger bear cat. I'd like to see them put out a six cell, somebody put out a bigger six cell bear cat, um, even with scale gear, because the gear folds on itself the way it comes up. It's got pretty tall gear, so. Uh, let's see. Um, any news on the FAA decision ruling? I don't know. It's not looking good, though, guys. I think they just want to take all the airspace for drones to fly packages and pizzas and stuff. So, but, you know, we're trying to save the hobby as best we can, folks. Um, but uh, it's not, 
not looking great, but we got to keep it going. That's why we got to keep doing this. Uh, let's see, Randy, watch your landing speed with the Bearcat. Yeah, can you do a six? You can put a six cell <coughs> in 1400 millimeter planes in some of them. Uh, almost the same size motor, Pitts V2. Yeah, you can, but you usually have to change the speed controller, maybe, and the possibly the motor and pro. It just depends on it depends on the amp draw. If you're overamping the ESC, you could blow it away. So, and then you let the smoke out and it stops flying. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see, the news that Amazon got FA approval, yes, I heard about that, and that's not good for us, you're right, uh, Air Marshal, yes, uh, uh, Dave, it's not a good deal, but you know what, it's eminent domain, man, they're steamrolling over the hobby because they don't really seem to care about it or pay much attention, it's just, you know, these companies that want to profit from it, um, you know, it, yeah, it sucks. I mean, there's just no, there's no good way to put that. Um, uh, let's make it to 100 viewers. I think we might almost had 100 viewers in the beginning, so and that was over an hour ago. So, but that's that's good. Everybody came. I'm really glad everybody came. I appreciate it. It's a good good first showing, and we're gonna have more guys. We'll have a lot to talk about and stuff. So, uh, all right, my stream status uh, went back to excellent, so we're good. So, packages and pizza. That's right. But it's not only that, Gav. It's uh, it's um. It's people. It's people. Uber, you know, has, they have vehicles now. They want to transport people at low altitudes. They don't want model airplanes, recreational drones, and all that stuff flying around. That's why they put that rule in that after, after the rule goes into effect, no more new fields. Because once they build airway structures at low altitude, they don't want to have to reaccommodate a flying site and mess all that up because it takes time and money to build that. I don't like it, but that's kind of, I'm just letting you know, that's kind of what they're doing, and it's kind of not cool because it's kind of going to help end the hobby that got drones to where they are to begin with. So it's really unfortunate. It's really bad. All we can do is keep flying, keep voicing our opinions, keep fighting, you know, because it is a little bit of an encroachment on some freedoms here, that's for sure. So, again, it's like eminent domain. So, um, yeah, drones uh, follow the money. You're right, uh, Paul, that's for sure. Uh, Air Marshal, you know, uh, Amazon, yeah, we got that, that sucks, yeah, uh, Pilot Robert, pizza, yeah, they want to deliver pizza, so, um, anyway, but I tell you what, one thing about the drone issue, you know, that we have not, you know, dealt with yet is, is that, you know, when we do start seeing drones flying around, you know, it's only going to take one or two of them to fall, fall out of the sky, and that might be the end of it. We know how the driverless car thing worked in Arizona. You know, they started driving, and they even had a person on board to, to prevent the car from doing anything, but the car killed somebody anyway, and that was the end of that program. So, you know, if you have an Uber with people on it that fa falls out of the sky, which would be horrible, but, you know, that would end it. I mean, you know, I don't think, I, I am not in a rush to get on a, hey, uh, hey, Jay Maniac, what's up, Rich, thanks for coming, man, appreciate it. Um, I'm not in a hurry to get on a pilotless four-copter drone, and, um, you know, I'd probably ask, uh, hey, Josh, how's it going? Oh, Captain, my captain in the house. All right. Um, um, I, I, it'd be interesting to ask drone guys who fly a lot of drones and stuff. And I got nothing against drones. Drones are awesome. I mean, they're, they're incredible machines. But, you know, I'd like to ask some drone guys, would you like to get in that machine you just built and let it fly? I know I saw some of the flight test guys doing that. I don't know if I really want to be in that thing with somebody else flying it, you know? So, uh you know, I feel more comfortable, more comfortable with a thumb and four fingers on the stick. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Uh, I won't be able to. Oh, let's see. No, I see. That's something else. Uh, Billy the Kid. Rich, do you fly helicopters and drones? Actually, Mike, interesting. Mike Lumber, Lumbertino asked a question. Do you fly copters and drones? I've flown a few drones. And actually, when I started RC, actually, I started RC early on, but like when I was 13 is when I really got into aviation model stuff, and um, the first thing I flew was a helicopter. I actually flew helicopters first before I flew airplanes. So I can fly the heck, I fly helicopters all day long, I mean, they're fun, I love them. It's just I got into airplanes later and stuff, and um, you know, I may get into some new helicopters, I may even show some helicopters uh, on the channel as well, um, uh, I may do some of those, so, um, but yeah, I love helicopters, and I've flown a few drones around, they're awesome, man, they're really cool. Um, 
Drones have a lot of capability. They're, they're pretty cool. The camera work we do. In fact, I got a Tiger Cat video with the drone. We flew together really close. I got to release that. I'll get that out there for you guys to check out. But I've flown some drones, and uh, yeah, they're fun. They're nice. I, I like them. They do a lot of good stuff. They're very capable. They're very useful. Um, I see why guys love them so much. But, you know, I like airplanes because I just, you know, I think it's nice to, um, you know, to really fly the machine, you know, to, 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 you know, to know you built this thing, go out and fly it, you know, do all kinds of things with it, and then kind of bring it back to earth, you know, sort of all your, on your own. That's why most of my planes have no stabilization. This one has none in it. The only planes I'm really flying with stabilization are the stuff that comes with them, like the E-Flight stuff, and those are awesome. I mean, for the money, you just can't beat them, and they fly great with the stabilization in them, so it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, we are still at 85 subscribers. Uh, awesome, guys. Um, uh, let's see. Make sure you wonder why we pay the AMA. Yeah, well, uh, Paul, one thing you got to understand, Paul McNeil said, uh, you know, make, make sure you wonder why we pay the AMA so much money. Remember, the AMA guys, they never really had any power or authority. They never have. They're, they're, a, they're, a, uh, they're an academy. You know, they're sort of a liaison from the hobby to the government, but they're not an administration. They don't, they don't have any... They don't really have any power. They can just advise the government and say, hey, this is what we need. And the government can say, yeah, we'll help you out with that or no, we won't. So, you know, the AMA is like our representative and they, they, just, they just don't have the power or the authority um, the, the, you know, to really dictate anything or determine anything. So, um, you know, the power of the AMA is in the members, you know. And I don't know, last I heard there was 200, 400,000 and only 50 some odd thousand left uh, you know, messages on that, uh, that uh, NPRM. So we really needed more guys to reply to that. And the fact that we didn't have one email or one message for, for the FA from each member was kind of scary to me. They said, oh, we got a good response. It was 50-something thousand. I didn't think that was very good. We really needed to have more guys. Um, so I don't know what happened with that. I, I made my voice known. I made several videos on it that I spent a lot of time. I also missed... <clears throat> didn't really go to some events because I was spending my time on those videos trying to get, or I went to events but didn't really do, you know, I know it's a long story, but I was more focused in the beginning of the year on trying to make videos for the FAA and talk to them about this stuff, so, and get, get model aviation straightened out, so. Uh, anyway, General Hobbies, uh, one of those Amazon drones hit someone or knocked a helicopter out of the sky. Yeah, I mean, Hey, man, drones are, are a threat. They're a little bit of a danger. Generally, if they hit a plane, they're generally not going to take it down. They could. If it hits a cockpit windshield, goes into an engine, yeah, they'll do some serious damage. Um, so safety is an issue with those things. It definitely is. But the problems we're having with the FAA, I think, are less safety-related. That's just sort of the alibi or the excuse they're using. And it has more to do with the commerce, the drone commerce, from Amazon and UPS and FedEx and Uber and all these places that, you know, have the lobbying power, you know, to, to, to push forth their agenda to, to, to use the airspace. And, and they'll just say, well, we don't, those model airplane guys are not that uh, important. And they don't realize how important model aviation is. It's, model aviation is the very thing that got aviation and drone technology to where it is. Now they want to take it. And it's like, well, that's where all the innovation comes from is the things that we're doing, the drone guys are doing, and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of short-sighted to, to not protect the hobby. And I think that the government, states, municipalities, they should make it mandatory for most cities, all cities, if there's a demand, for sure, to have a couple of flying sites located, you know, in quadrants or something for cities, you know, locate them at landfills. Um, our Orlando landfill, they won't even let us fly there. It's ridiculous. They make up all kinds of excuses and, you know, things about um, um, risk management and stuff. But everybody's insured, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. There's not really much risk in, you know, you know doing to damage to garbage at a dump, you know. So <laughs> I, I don't understand. We got the Brevard County landfill out by the Space Coast. They are awesome. They let us fly there. That's why, you know, you guys see us flying at that landfill a lot because they're awesome there. They let us, they let us, uh, they let us fly there, and it's cool. But Orlando, forget it. They won't allow it just because they, they're scared. You know what I mean? They, they have some, some ridiculous, uh, you know, kind of, kind of fear of, you know, um, I don't know, just liability, you know, risk management type stuff, and it's kind of ridiculous. So 
It's not well founded because we all have homeowners insurance. We all have AMA. If you're flying at a dump, there's nothing but garbage for like a mile or two. So, you know, it's the safest place to fly, but they won't even let us fly there. And forget about parks. I think you guys know what parks have gotten like. Parks have gotten ridiculous. Uh, did you reply from letter you wrote to the FAA? Yes, I did get a reply. I had an FAA lady contact me, and I, so, and she said, yes, I got your letter. She goes, I appreciate you sending all that, whatever. But, you know, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know how much, you know, I'm, we can all do our best. Um, uh, you know, I, I wish, uh, I wish we still had uh, Neil Armstrong around because he would be probably the, one of the biggest voices. You know, we got Hoot Gibson. Uh, the, man, I wish we could get uh, Burt Rutan out there, you know, talking to these folks because we need the high-profile folks out there, you know, to really, that really have a big voice. So, but I made my comments. They replied. I made my videos. I'll keep talking about it. And, uh, you know, that's all we can do, really, just keep flying. Uh, general hobbies, I feel helpless. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so that's what you do for flying lights. I don't want to comment on that. Let's see. Drone delivery service should be restricted between 600 feet and 800 feet. Yeah, the problem with that, though, is that most controlled airspace begins at 400. So planes technically and helicopters can be down that low. So that's the problem with that part of the altitude. So, But honestly, I think when drones start buzzing around, if they get to be a nuisance, I think people are going to complain. I don't think they're going to want them there. Um, they might drop pizzas out of the sky. They might drop pack. They may fall out of the sky in an intersection. They may go through a car windshield, hit somebody, you know. So I don't want any of that to happen, but, you know, man, if that stuff happens, that might uh, be the kind of thing that kind of slows that, that progress down or anything. So, um, but let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, all we can do is keep talking about it and keep flying, and <coughs> hopefully the FA will, uh, will get, get wind of uh, kind of how important it is. Um, uh, Wesley's better fan club. Oh, Captain Photon's here. All right. Um, I recently found about five AMA fields within 30, 50 miles of my house. Yeah, we don't have so many here in Orlando. Sunshine State, we should have more, but uh, not so many. Um, I fly off the parking lot where I uh, work, nowhere near AMA field. Uh, yeah, you should have the AMA if you're going to do that because there is liability, and that's the reason you want AMA is because um, they do cover you. In fact, most cases, if you have an incident or accident or something with your airplane or something, usually it's your homeowner's insurance that covers it. That's usually what I think the AMA will tell you. But the AMA is they back up to that. So you really kind of need to have it. Any field you fly at, you really do have to have AMA. So I would just sign up for it. It's kind of a requirement if you're going to fly RC. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Paul. Stepping on a syringe or razor blade at the garbage dump doesn't sound... Well, but we're not flying on the garbage. <laughs> we have prepared areas we fly at. Most, most landfills in most cities and states, they let you fly there. So it's usually not a problem. Landfills are usually the best place to fly because there's nobody there to bother. So anyway, um, let's see. There was a police helicopter practicing touch and goes at our RC field. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Hopefully they don't hit a plane or something. Uh, not in my backyard. Closest one to me is, oh, yeah. So serious question. When I own a piece of property, don't I also own a column of air directly above that property? I don't know the official answer to all of that. In the old days, yes, that was true. Nowadays, I think the federal government wants to own from the ground up. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I don't know how, I don't know how they're going to get away with that. And if you have private property, I don't know how they're going to stop you. So... Those are gray areas, yeah, you know. So now if you have your own property, you can register that site, and they should approve it, and, or they can approve it or should approve it. So if you have your own property, you know, <clears throat> try to get it approved as fast as you can for a flying site. Um, yes, Rich, I take time for the at Class A flyers, yeah. Um, Captain Photon, the online AMA magazine is fun to look at too, yeah. Let's see, FA uh, ruling will be surely be uh, a, no hang on a sec, I can't see that. The FA ruling will surely be a knock-on effect around the world for all us RC guys. I'm in the UK and it's getting tough here. Yes, it is. Uh, how about uh, contacting Buzz Aldrin? Yeah, man, that'd be another one. Dude, I don't know if Buzz Aldrin did RC, but I know, 
I know uh, Neil Armstrong did. You know, he was big into it. Uh, but he's, you know, he's not around anymore, you know. Um, all I can think of really right now is Hoot Gibson. Um, I know Victor Martinez, Detroit Tigers, retired now. He's, he's a great RC pilot. Uh, uh, he used to let me fly his uh, Bob Violet jets and stuff. He's a Detroit Tigers, I think number 41 designated hitter. So I used to fly with Victor a bunch. He's cool. If we could get him to say a few things, man. Uh, you know, again, Hoot Gibson, uh, Burt Rutan, all these folks. Uh, we could use all the Chuck, uh, Chuck Yeager wasn't a model guy, but still, you know, even the Wright brothers built model planes, you know, before they jumped in their flyer, right? So, uh, uh, yeah, they want to take control of the airspace. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and you're right. Yeah, I know. It's horrible. Yeah. Um, would you register with the, what is that? Would you register with the fan? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, oh, fave. Uh, FA owns all the airspace. The answer's not. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, hey, I appreciate y'all coming, guys. We're down to 76 viewers, which is still awesome. I mean, that's a killer, killer amount to end. I don't remember where we, we topped at, but I, we might have hit 100. I know we were in the high 90s, so um, I think I'm going to end up cutting this off, guys. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, um, I think we'll be back tomorrow, but if not, maybe Friday. I'm going to schedule something, so just check, you know, on the RC Informer YouTube channel. I'll schedule something, and I think we're going to talk about probably Dynam in another plane or something. We'll talk about the PT-17 because it's fairly new, fairly hot, really nice model, and um, uh, trying to help, uh, you know, Jing Lee there. He's the owner. He's trying to, at Bitco Hobby, he's trying to sell some of these, and they're nice planes, guys. You'll see me with this out and about flying. Um, it's pretty awesome. I love the flying wires and the detail on it. And, uh, but stay tuned, guys, for tomorrow. All these live streams, folks, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to you know, schedule them and everything. So just you know, check on RC Informer. Again, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when we put this out. I really appreciate it. Obviously, a lot of guys had a notification bell set because a lot of guys came to this, and I really appreciate it. For the first uh, run, we had quite a few people. So, And we're going to have, like I said, a lot of FMS stuff. Uh, we're going to have... Um, the Corsair and the CJ6 coming pretty soon in a few weeks. We're going to do the glider here real soon. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming from Horizon as well. Um, and uh, wow, Rich, uh, do it again. Uh, I like that you're doing live shows. Yeah, we'll be doing more live shows. So, you know, guys, come with questions and stuff, and, uh, you know, we'll uh, see if we can get you going. So, uh, but anyway, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming. And uh, like I said, uh, it, again, as far as Super Chats go, I do want to reiterate that again, and I'm probably going to keep doing it. Um, I'd rather you guys keep your money. You know, buy yourself a cool plane, man. You know, spend the money on yourself. And if you get one, use my links. If you guys use my links, um, it supports our channel. We do get a little commission. I only started using them in March. I've never really used any of those things until recently. So, But if you use my Horizon links, use my, use my, um, uh, my Bitco Hobby links for the Dynam stuff, of course, and uh, Hobby Zone. Check out my Amazon store. I got a link to Amazon below all my videos, folks. So, and that's all stuff in that store is everything that I use, everything I have. So I'm letting you guys know the things that I have found are good. Some things I don't put in there at all. But anything you purchase through my links, guys, it supports us. And that's a great way for you guys to sort of for free super chat me. And you guys keep the money and buy your plane. So I'd, I'd love, to, love to have you guys do that. So uh, I really appreciate the help and the support and all that stuff. And we'll see you guys at events and everything. Um, also, once again, guys, um, uh, Instagram, Twitter, we're putting posts daily on stuff. Even if I take a picture of something I'm doing or some new things I'm working on or out at the field, um, Instagram, guys, we're trying to light that up and get more, more followers. So please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Check that out. And, uh, you know, we'll talk more and more. And I probably, again, merch. I got merch coming. And actually, I have special shirts like this one that are not merch shirts that are like all embroidered and stuff. So I'm going to have, uh, there's even a logo here. I'm coming up a way to get, you, get these to you guys if you want to buy them and stuff. We're, gonna, um, uh, we're actually going to probably do a Patreon deal or something. So we'll work on that. And uh, any support is appreciate, appreciated, guys. We do appreciate it. But mostly, guys, if you just like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, pass our videos around. If you know people that haven't seen our stuff, just say, hey, check out our thing. Me and Steve, like I said, we're always working pretty hard at this. So... Um, you know, the more help you can give us that way, awesome. Uh, we really appreciate all that. So, 
Um, uh, thank you, uh, Captain Fosa. Thank you for your time and knowledge and skill. You're bad. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it, Captain. Uh, let's see. Captain's in the house. Uh, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you all go. I, I heard Amy come back a little while ago. She just opened the garage door, so uh, she's probably down there brewing up something for dinner. So uh, I'm gonna, with that, I'm going to go. I really appreciate everybody coming. Uh, we're leaving the show with 73 people, so that's pretty darn good. And I, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming. Um, and uh, once again, look for the next live stream. The next video is coming out. We're going to have a lot of stuff. So uh, as always, guys, I really appreciate you guys coming, and we will see you guys next time.